Hi everybody, a couple of junk journals here that are uh, custom orders in relation to the mini micro gypsy themed ones that I did recently. Um, you'll need to bear with me if there's a bit of barking in the background, I've shut them out um, simply because they were running backwards and forwards and barking all the time and I'm never going to get this filmed. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, anyway, let's go through the first one first. Um, it's got a floral cover again, floral fabric and two signatures. I've used a lilac lace panel on the top, I've made a lace rosette here and there's a navy blue rose in the middle. Um, image on a library card that I did myself. There will be lilac seam binding to go with this one but I've only just dyed it using the Tim Holtz Distress Ink um, so it will be on it when the book goes anyway. Right. I did uh, one of Amity Bloom's type fabric tags again. So it's just a tag with some layers of fabric on it sewed down. And let's have a look at the book. Inside is a scrapbooking paper again and it's uh, kind of glittered where the roses are. All of the pages that have got digital images in them are ones that I've prepared myself. Um, when I leave bit stamping up there, when I do a custom order, the this the fact of the matter is I find it very difficult to duplicate my work. Um, so you tend to find that there will be differences, uh, uh, mostly because, to be honest, I really quite like to make things individually. I don't like it to you know everybody having the same thing. Um, this is a vellum page. I don't think this was in the last book. I don't think it was anyway. Um, first of the tuck spots and I know that the uh, ephemera I've used in this is again my own and it's not, it wasn't in the last book. I made some journaling cards up as well. Yeah, I've seen that one before. This is a uh, handmade paper, not handmade by myself. I don't sit in the back slapping papyrus. Um, I bought a variety of different coloured ones and some sort of creamy gold ones as well. Uh, so I just cut down a lilac one since I, I, a lot of aspects of this book are lilacish. A bit stamp in there again. Just like to see that up close. It's really just a sort of flourish. Papers are all uh, coffee stained or tea stained, and the signatures tied in a bow. I'm I, I feel I'm quite heavy handed now with the tea dyeing and coffee dyeing. I used to be the opposite. You know, like you would have to tell somebody. It, it, it almost looked as if I'd shown them a cup of coffee. But I hadn't actually done anything. Uh, that's the handmade paper again. Here's the book page. Music page. Stamp in there. And the other side of the vellum. Music paper. Modifying it up. I'm sorry, I'm getting out of focus. There you go. And another library card. Well, not a library card, a journaling card I made up myself. The good thing about doing, you know, even if you don't do the, the digital work yourself, it is possible when you're printing it, if you're using Windows, to change the sizes to some extent. Um, the rotten thing about Windows is it'll only let you print in a variety of different sizes, but at least it does let you do that and you can get stuff that's small enough to do, that's a, what do you call it, vellum page again, 
you can get it small enough for the likes of micro mini jump journal. Um, if MD needs any advice on how to do that, give me a shout and I'll maybe do a wee quick video. But uh, I'm by no manner am I a, a genius when it comes to computers. It's often a case of trial and error and see what works for me. And that's how I, that's how I roll, baby. Oh, belly band, belly, belly, belly band. The belly band here is layers of uh, the handmade paper and, and I'm pulling the wrong thing, handmade paper and another sort of uh, scrapbook paper. And this is another wee card I made. That's that we get all features in one of the vellum pages in the book. It'd really help if I could put things back properly into it. Um, another vellum page. I think that one more than the other journal. And that's a scrapbooking paper that stamps in the corners. There's your pal, Chunky. Oh look, he signed that one. A uh, little ticket with the gypsy image and another uh, library card with the uh, gypsy image. Sorry, I, I can't get this close enough without it going out of focus. Um, oh, that's quite good focus. There you go. That, that's the the problem of micro mini, isn't it? Trying to get everything in focus when you're showing it in a video. And the last of the ephemera in this one. And oops, you take it. And that's it. And as I said, there'll be lilac seam binding to tie that one. Now the other book, oh, wait a minute, I put that with it. The other book has been done uh, sort of pinkish and it's a different library card. That's the one that I uh, just showed you that was inserted with the other one. It's got pink lace, a little gold boot and a rosette, well, a lace rosette with a little pink flower. Two signatures again, different fabric. Um, there's a tag with this one as well, sewn in the back there. And just pass it through it. Uh, the stamping in this one is different as well, uh, just because I like to shake it up, as I say. That's what I say when, when my husband comes in from work at night and it's a case of what's for dinner and we have something different, I'll say, yeah, I'm shaking it up. Oh, belly band, belly, belly, belly band. Again, handmade paper, not by myself, and some scrapbooking paper, and the ephemera is a little uh, calendar. The ephemera here is uh, one of the wee uh, library cards and another wee tag I made myself. Tied it in a wee bow in the middle, the signature. I haven't stamped all the pages. Um, don't want it to get boring. You know. It's always nice to sort of wonder what's where. Um, we took it where we dancing gypsy on it and another library, oh not a library card, a journaling card where we angel in the bottom. Music page, vellum. Another tuck here. 
uh, another one of the library cards with a different image and another one of the tags uh, sorry journaling cards it would help if I could tell my tags from my journaling cards wouldn't it fell on page there and oh look who snuck in here it's Junkers! Junkie Monkey made it on at the back or something. But he's still there, he wouldn't know. He says to me, he says, are you, are you, going, to, are you going to put me in this journal? Are you? Are you? Are you going? Um, another wee tag and a journaling card. that's very similar to the cover on the first journal I showed you and another one of my journaling cards mm, handmade paper it's got kind of gold dots on it Scrapbooking paper, different scrapbooking paper, stamping, one of mine, signature, I'm not sure if there's any more tuck spots in this book. So be on page again. Another one. That's it. And pink on the inside. And this one is tied with um, pink uh, sari silk. I didn't have any lilac sari silk to do the other book, so that's why it's uh, seam binding. Because I discovered today that sari silk doesn't actually die terribly well, or at least it didn't when I tried it. So I don't know if it's the way I did it. Maybe somebody could advise if they've done it before. Um, but it's just, it seemed awful patchy and I thought, that's just no, it's no my standard, I said to myself. Right, so there are two custom orders on the uh, Mini Micro Junk Journal Gypsy theme for you. Um, please leave your comments and I'll look forward to what you're saying. Um, can I also just add, I, there's another lassie for Scotland that's on YouTube, her name is Lisa Owen, that's L-I-S-A, Owen is O-W-E-N, and Lisa is absolutely fabulous. She made a beautiful journal that I watched last night on YouTube, um, it was done in a kind of witchy slash steampunk type theme and it was it was just out of this world so if you get a chance check out Lisa and her channel and have a wee look at her work because she's she's absolutely epic and she's a lovely person too right so thanks very much for joining me today I shall speak to you all again soon see you later guys bye